Hey guys, it's Gary again. I just want to shoot this video to share another date with destiny lesson I learned last month um, when I went to Florida to listen to Tony Robbins. It's a key lesson. Uh, he reiterated it. He gently touched upon it in the Unleash the Power Within conference that I went to last year in July in Chicago. But this is, it, he really nailed the nailed it on the head when he reiterated it in December. You know how you get those messages or the lessons when somebody says it once, you're like, oh, okay. But then later on when somebody else says it, it suddenly really clicks in your mind. So this was the case. When like most people are sad, like when they focus on the wrong things. And you know, uh, Tony Robbins always teaches what you focus on where your focus goes, your attention flows, or that's where it goes. Uh, so he talks about three areas. What you can control or what you can't control. What you can control versus what you can't control. So are you, do you focus on what you can control or what you can't control? Number two, do you focus on what's missing in your life or what you have in your life? And that's where I, you know, I usually have my attitude of gratitude exercise, morning ritual in, in, the, in the beginning of the day to really prime my mind and make sure I'm starting the day off with the right mindset. You know, when I wake up, I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you, God, that I'm able to wake up. My wife is alive. My children are alive. My parents are still living and we're healthy and we're not super sick or anything. Like, thank you for that. Like, are you thinking like that? Are you, or are you thinking when you wake up, what's missing in my life? Oh, I don't live in my dream house. I don't have my dream car. And you know, I don't have this or I don't, I don't have that. And are you focusing on what's missing in your life? The scarcity? Or are you thinking about abundance? What do you have, right? And then number three is, are you focusing on the past, present and future or future? Many people live in the past and they dwell on what used to happen, what happened to them. And so they have a victim mentality or uh, and they're thinking about the past or maybe their past successes and they're always dwelling there. Or maybe a lot of people focus on future. Oh, the tr my future, I want to, I'm going to have this kind of dream or, or maybe they're thinking, oh, I'm going to have this. I'm afraid of what might happen in the future but it didn't even happen yet. So they're focusing on stuff that is not, might not happen, not true. So they're wasting a lot of time there. So are you, or are you focusing on the present? Being present, like, you know, um, it's always important to plan ahead, but are you focused on what's happening right now? Are you doing what you can right now? So once again, what you can control versus what you can not control. So are you focusing on stuff that's outside of your control like the weather or oh natural disaster or um your your government implemented certain laws that like yeah do you have a little bit of control yes you can vote and all that stuff but generally most people don't have much control when it comes to that are you focusing on like uh like oh the market tank or whatever like are you focusing on what you can cannot control or are you focusing on what you can control? What can you do about it? Like, let's say you um, got injured. Uh, maybe you couldn't control that, but you can control how to recover from your injury. Like, maybe you uh, did well, you didn't do so well on a test, um, but you can control how you study for it next time. And all these things, like, are you focusing on what's inside of your control or what's outside of your control? Number two, are you focusing on what you have and you're thankful for or what you don't have? And number three, are you focusing on the past, dwelling in your past failures or success? Hopefully, uh, like dwelling in either um, doesn't really help from for the present. Like dwelling in the past success, yeah, it's great, but hopefully it gives you confidence in your present. But some people just dwell in the past success and don't do anything about it, so they they, they think just because they were successful in the past, they're going to be successful in the, in the present. Not necessarily. Or some people just dream about the future. 
I, oh my, like, oh, I'm gonna have a vision board and uh, the great things are gonna happen and all these things, all these, uh, my dream vacations, dream relationship, dream uh, income, dream business is gonna happen, which is okay, but are you just focusing on the future and not thinking about how can I turn my present, uh, how can I take action during in the present to get to the future visions? right so it's 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 uh it's all about you know focusing on what you can control focusing on what you have and focusing on the present see if you're focusing on the opposite you're screwed okay if you're focusing on what you cannot control and you're focusing on what you do not have so you're not grateful you're like like kind of grouchy every day and you're focusing on what you cannot control it's like you feel super stressed because you feel like the world is just happening to you and you're like out of control so you're focusing on what you cannot control if you focus on what you don't have and you're focusing on the past too much or the future future like what if happens or what could happen the fears or whatever too much then you're really screwed. So I want to encourage you today in whatever you're doing, school, business, real estate, uh, wealth building, your marriage, anything, focusing on what you can control, focus on what you do have, being grateful, and focusing and focus on the present. It doesn't mean you don't, you never think of a, the past or you never plan for the future. It just means what you should focus on right so hope that was uh useful to you hopefully you took that to heart and once again i'll see you in the next video